Hey everyone. In this video, I want to take a look at some basic percent word problems. So to start with, whenever we're dealing with a percent problem, there are three pieces that we are working with. And they are the percent, which is also known as the rate, usually indicated by the percent sign in our problem. We also have the base. This is the total amount or the whole amount that we have, normally what we're starting with. And then we have the amount or the part or the portion. So after we take a, the percent of our base, it's what we're left with. The relationship between these three different variables is as follows. So if I take my base and I multiply it by my percent, I end up with the amount. So the amount is what I'm left with after multiplying the percent by the base. Another way I could write this relationship, since I know percent is the parts per 100, I could say if I take my amount and I divide it by my base, I can get that from here as well. So if I take the both sides of this equation and if I divide this by B, I end up with A over B. This fraction is the same as my percent over 100. So my parts per 100 is the same as my amount divided by my base. In this one, in my first one, where we just have multiplication, my percent has to be written as a decimal. So we would need to convert that into the decimal form first before we multiply. In the second version, this is just a percent number. So this is written as a percent and we can figure it out that way. In applications, there are some key clues we can look for as well. A lot of the times, the word is will indicate the amount. So I could say this is is, and then the word of will indicate our base or our whole amount. And as I said earlier, the percent sign or the rate, that will be our percent. So this is another way I could look at this same proportion. So let's use this in a couple different examples. I have three examples here, and in each one we're gonna be solving for a different variable. So again, just to have it to reference, let's write down our formula. So we have our part over our base is equal to our percent over 100, or I could do is over of is equal to our percent over 100. So that will give me some cues for what to look for in my problems. So in the first one it says, what is 40% of 20? So right away, I have the 40%, so that's gonna be P. So this will be my rate. And it says of 20, so 20 is my whole amount, so that will be my base. So that just leaves the part, that leaves A, as the thing I want to solve for. So it's saying what is, and is is our amount. So to set up this proportion, we're going to solve for A. We know our base is 20, and then this is going to be equal to 40 over 100. Or if I want to go back and use the other formula we have, where A is just equal to P times B, I could write this as A is equal to my percent as a decimal, 40% as a decimal is 0.4, and then we multiply that by our base, which is 20. And doing this multiplication, we end up with an answer of eight. So eight is 40% of 20. Moving on to the next one. Okay, again, like I said, we're gonna be solving for a different variable this time. So we have 24%, so the percent sign indicates our rate again. And then it says 24% of what number is 40.8? So is 40.8, the is is going to indicate our part or our amount. And then of what number, so of indicates our base. So in this problem, we're gonna be solving for B. So to plug this into our proportion, we know A is equal to 40.8. We wanna find our base or our whole amount. And then this is gonna be equal to 24 over 100. So to solve this proportion, we can use our cross product. 
So we'll multiply it like this. So we have 40.8 times 100, and that's gonna be equal to 24 times B. 40.8 times 100, that gives me 4080 is equal to 24B. And then to find our base, our whole amount, we'll divide by 24, and we end up with a base equal to 170. So 40.8 is 24% of our answer, 170. And for the last one, 18 is what percent of 90? So we wanna solve for what percent? So in this case, we're looking for our rate. 18 is, the is indicates our amount or our part, and then of 90, so the of, that's gonna indicate our base. And plugging this into our proportion, we have our part of 18 divided by the base of 90 is equal to our percent over 100. Again, we can use the cross product. So we'll multiply 18 times 100 is 1800, and that's equal to 90 times our percent. And to find our percent, we'll divide both sides by 90. So we end up with a percent equal to 20. And here we are gonna include the percent sign because when we use our proportion like this, our percent is as a whole number, not a decimal. So here's our answer. So 18 is 20% of 90. Oh.